Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Infamous. In the last episode, if you'll remember correctly, there was a little bit more anger than I'm usually known for. I'm going to try to keep that in check this episode, which shouldn't be that bad because there aren't that many problems this episode. So we're going to go ahead and take on our mission, which is all the way over here. However, before we do that, I know usually I start like right in front of the mission, but there's two dead drops that we can collect that are like right next to it. So the first one's right here, so let me go ahead and get that, and then I'll head over to the second one right now as we listen to this. Kept in the infirmary for several days. Had my own room, and other than a nurse, didn't see anyone. I tested the door five times, and it was always locked. Checked the IV, and they had me on a steady dose of dolaphine. So much for their healing abilities. Alright, so that was one, and then the second one is over here. Hold up, let me get this flash shard real quick on top of this uh, water tower. I know it's been a while since the last episode of Miss. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. I say that I'm going to um, have closer episodes together since I'm on summer vacation, yet I've got to know better at that. Okay, here's the second dead drop. I was introduced to Kessler today. He has some kind of metal device attached to his right arm. And his face is scarred, probably the result of an accident. One of the other guards told me that Kessler has been the leader of the First Sons for decades, but that he vanishes for long periods of time. Initial impression is that Kessler is a true believer. He has an agenda, and he's going to carry it out. We may have to move against him sooner than we had initially planned. All right, so there you go. That's just a little bit more story of John's time while he was infiltrating the First Sons. Right, so let's go ahead and take care of our mission. Dinner with Jefferson Sasha. Tunnel. Since the entrance is blocked, you're going to have to figure out a way to get down there. Your best bet is to head into the compound across the street and look for a way to open the gate. Rock and roll. All right, I'm going to assume they're talking about this little electrical box here, because, you know, as soon as you see one of these, you know you have to charge it up, so... Oh, God. I hate those things. They're, they were one of the main reasons of all my rage last episode. Well, that and the turrets. So let me go ahead and arc train him. There we go. Alright, gotta be careful here. I'm heading right into the, the center of a Reaper base, so they're gonna be swarming everywhere. Alright, take care of that one. Let me see if I can... Can I get this? Okay, I'll try and get that later. If I try to get it now, I'm probably gonna end up dying. Let me go ahead and get some electricity heal up. Alright, there we go, that's good. Okay, there, take care of that guy. Okay, this is... I gotta be I gotta be careful, I gotta stay hidden. Stay behind this thing. Let's reach out a little bit to heal up. Let's see. Oh, okay, I see where he is now. Let me wait for him to pop his head out, and then I'll position aim him. Alright, there we go, got him. Now, let's see. Alright, two turrets over there. So, let's see. I can probably sneak up behind him and take out the turrets, so... Let me try and do that, actually. Stay behind this wall for defense. Alright. Go. There we go, nice. I need to be the turrets. I'm gonna disable these just in case. And there we go, that wasn't too bad. I think there's like one Reaper left somewhere. Yeah, there we go. One down there. Alright, there we go, that's... Okay, no, they, they, that wasn't the last Reaper. Let me go ahead and get that this flash shard over here first. Hopefully I don't die getting it. Got it. Alright. Go ahead over here, heal this up. Well, not heal this up, charge this up so that I can heal up. Alright, there we go, nice. Now, just make it back over there. And... Precision aim to be able to get him. As soon as he pops his head out, come on. Come on, running out of energy here. There we go, there we go. Ah, damn it. Where is he? There we go. Ah, forget it, I'm just gonna go over there. I'm wasting too much energy with that. Alright, there we go. And now I just... Alright, there we go, good. Sweet, delicious. So we're taking care of all the Reapers here. Coming home at last. I've been waiting for you. Longing for you. Just shut up. Damn. 
That never really works. I always mess that up in some way or another. Okay, I have, I have like no electricity, so let me tear these guys and I'll probably buy a leaf one of them. I can feel All right, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna train the other dude just so I keep my karma good. Stout. We're going to have such fun. I gotta be careful here, because this is like right inside the Oh god, I hear a suicide. Where is he? Oh god! Getting sick of you guys. Okay, I gotta heal up. They closed this off, so I just gotta charge up some of these old cars and buses and stuff. Charging these up, uh, and then just... But don't charge them up too much, because the cars do explode after a while. Alright, there we go. Let's see. Let's... More turrets. Not too much of a problem, though. I'm just gonna throw some bombs. Alright, that's care of most of them, thankfully. I just gotta get behind that turret. Should be able to do it without that much problems. Hydrant bus. The buses are gonna be your best friend, because not only are they good for charging up, like, you can charge this blast them with electricity and then absorb the electricity, but they also make very good for defense. I'm gonna disable this turret just in case. Nice. And then we are trying to fuck a couple of these guys. That way, just in case we need to buy a leech later, I don't have to worry about my karma. Okay, let's see. Oh god, I scared that suicide right away. I didn't even know he was there. Oh, great, there's two Reaper conduits. Alright, that's one conduit down. There we go. Alright. Take these things. Alright, there we go. That's both conduits down. And, oh, that that was really good. I made it through here without, like, almost any problem. Alright, nice. Boy, uh, I think I found where they're making the Reapers. Bunch of people down here, locked in cages. Machines spraying the black tar all over them. Get them out of there, and then deal with Sasha. My pleasure. Let me go ahead and open all these cages for them. It's annoying how you have to hit exactly like the lock. You would think that the electricity would like spread and then break the metal, the rusty metal like that. I don't know, it's just so annoying for me. You have to be precise, and as we've seen, I'm not that very good with precision. Hold on for just one moment, I need to take care of something real quick. It'll be real fast, I promise. Okay, so sorry about that. Alright, there we go, and there's a reaper here, do I just like, let him go, or, I'll just let him go, he hasn't done anything to me. There's another, I'm guessing these reapers are just like, barely transformed, that's very disturbing when you think about it, the fact you that reapers I are just transformed her. people. Where you're parading her around like a common Jezebel, I see everything now, Kessler. Darling, what took you? Was there traffic? I told you not to take the bridge. It's always backed up at night. Get dressed. We have dinner plans tonight. Of course I told you. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Alright, so there's Sasha, the leader of the uh, Reaper gang. Who, for some reason, is very infatuated Keep with us. Talking. All right, there's tar all all over the ground, so you just gotta like try and avoid it, making onto these little pieces of platforms, and then just shock Tasha. They're 
That's pretty much all you have to do. It's not that cool. Alright, so after a while, Sasha so creates these visions of Reapers. Since they're only visions, they go down if you're like going back, so you don't have to worry about them too much. Okay, more Reaper holograms. Oh, there's something. Now that she's down, it's time to get up. Alright, yes. go over to her now yes. and. I love it. You just have to like mash X, but you also have to move the analog stick down to where the circle Still. is. So it's it's a little annoying. I always hated games where you had to mash buttons, because I was never good at it as a child. Hell. Over a while I've sort of like acquired the skill of button mashing, but when I was a child I could never do it. It was always really annoying. So I usually had my older brother do it for me. He he's always been really good at mashing buttons. Okay, I need to heal up somewhere. Oh, there's actually right in front of me, that's good. So yeah, like, my brother, he was always really good at matching buttons for me. So when we were little, when we were kids, I would always tell him, Oh, hey, I can't do this part for me. Can you do it for me? You know, like like any younger brother. It's sort of like a cliche. You have the older brother do the video game for you that you can't beat. I mean, in general, I'd like to think I'm better than my brother at video games. You can see the proof for yourself if anyone watches my uh, side series, Balling Me, Bro. But regardless of that, you can sort of, like... I always thought I was better than him at video games, but when it came to button matching, I could never do that. I always had him do it for me. He was just so good at it. And still to this day, he's a lot better than me when it comes to button matching. I mean, I've got him better to the point that I can do it for myself. I don't need him to do it for me anymore. But he's still better at it. I don't know how. Like, I get really tired easily when it comes to button matching. So, a little side thing there. A little side commentary. Does it take to go deep down? Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, there we go. That's... Let me heal up a little before I actually charge up to her. Alright, nice. <laughs> really annoying. Now, up. Up. Crazy bitch. God, I hate doing it. It's so annoying. I mean, like, when I played this game on hard mode, I that was one of those instances where I just couldn't do the button mashing. It was too hard for me. And that, like I was saying, I usually, I had the controller in my brother do the bat, put some matching for me. So, still to this day, you know, I still ask him for help when I need it. Which, again, is usually just put some matching. Anything else I can pretty much do for myself. Another thing that really I have my brother do for me is, um, puzzles. Like, I'm not a fan of puzzle games. There are a couple puzzle games I will play, like, uh, The Legend of Zelda series. It's predominantly a puzzle game, however, I find... I find it more enjoyable for the lore and the franchise than the actual gameplay. I don't play the games because I enjoy puzzle games. I play the games because I enjoy the story. I enjoy the mythos, the universe, all that. Same thing with um, Portal. I'm I'm very uh, I'm a fan of the Portal franchise, despite the fact that I'm very anti puzzle games. Like it's just not my thing. For me personally, I'd have to say my strong point would be platform. Probably what I'm best at. My brother, he's. He's one of those puzzle people, you know, he enjoys puzzle games, so Legend of Zelda, he's a big fan of the Uncharted series, it's like, it's not, it's not entirely puzzle, it's an adventure game, but it has its puzzle section, so, so that's, that's just a thing, button mashing and puzzles, that's his strong point, my strong point is pretty much everything else, I mean, I'm better than him at fighting games, better than him at platformers, adventure games, RPGs I'd say he's kind of better at, just cause he actually, he, he's, he grinds. That's all I can really say. Like, whenever Pokemon is a big example of that, I never grind. I'm always underleveled and stuff, which you can kind of see in my uh, Molymon series if you watch that. But my brother actually does grind up, and he does EV training and breeding and all that stuff. So he's patient. That's basically the distinction between us. He's patient, I'm not. And that's just where our differences come in video games, and why one person's good at one thing and one's good at the other. It controls you. Sasha was a piece of shit before the blast. But looking at her now, is this what my powers are gonna do to me? A warped body and twisted mind? Is that my future? Either way, she knows all about the first sons and their race sphere. 
If I'm gonna dig myself out of this hole, it starts with her talking right now. They came fast. Smoke everywhere. Sasha got pulled out. Whoever they were, they were pros, trained for this kind of thing. There was no time to think. Water was pouring in, the place was falling apart. With no way back, I went forward. Into the slums of the war. Alright, so our accents have made us slightly more heroic. That's good. And now, if you'll check your map, we are no longer over here in the Neon District. We're now in the second area of Empire City, which is, as Cole has said, the Warren District. And as being in a new area, we have new enemies now. We're no longer fighting the Reapers, we are now fighting these people. But some guys in masks came and grabbed her, brought the whole tunnel down. It was probably the first sons. If we're lucky, they'll take care of her for us. Yeah, that'd be swell. Listen, the power is out in this whole borough, and I barely have the energy to walk. We're going to get the nearest substation back online. All right, let me try to get out of here as fast as possible so I can get to the substation. There's like nowhere for me to get electricity from, and I'm dying. Wanted to let you know I'm over in the Warren. The Warren? Damn, man, that place was Nightmare Central before the blast. Hate to see what it's like now. Hasn't gotten any better, that's for sure. I'll give you a call when I figure out how I'm gonna get back home. Keep your nose to the wind, man. All right, there we go, stranded. So it's gonna be another one of those missions. We power up the substation and then we go get a new power. Guess that explains why they're all wearing trash bags. I suspect that they're led by an extremely powerful conduit, so it'd be a big mistake to underestimate them. I get it. So there you go. Say goodbye to the Reaper, because from now on we're gonna be fighting the Dustman. As long as we're in the war, anyways. If we head back to the Neon, then the Reapers are still going to be there. They aren't going to go away. And here's our new power, which is these electric thrusters. It's good for traveling, and when it's combined with the um, electric, yeah, with the uh, induction grind like that, it makes for a really good uh, traveling system. Probably the fastest oh, yeah, way to travel yes. around in the game. Unless, of course, you can't aim good. You're probably going to see me fall a lot into the water in this subway mission. Or not subway sewer mission, just because um for two mission for two reasons. Reason number one, it's dark, so I cannot see at all where I'm going. And then reason two, I am not at all good at controlling the thrusters. Cause you can elevate yourself, you can go higher or lower, but I'm not really good at doing that, so I just naturally let them go lower. Alright, there's a lot of dustmen, but thankfully most of them are in the water here, so when they're in the water it's like they die right away. Because, you know, water and electricity, science and physics. It's not really physics, I think that would be more... Not necessarily chemistry, would it be physics? I don't know. Well, the point I'm getting at here is, if they fall into the water, then um, they die in like one hit when you shock them. So that's pretty helpful. That's, that's what I basically do. That's my main uh, strategy during these uh, sewer missions. Just try to knock them into the water, and then once they're in there, just shock them. So let's see. Alright, hopefully I can make this. I almost never make this just because I'm not Traveling that good at controlling style. this, as I've said. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna... Okay, I almost made that. See, there's a little tower you're supposed to land on, but I always overshoot it, and I just fall in the water. Thankfully, you don't die right away, so I have chance of recovering and getting back in. So let's see. Now over here... <laughs> Dang it. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be falling into the water a lot during this mission. Hopefully I don't die too much. Like, it's very helpful the fact that you don't die right away in the water. Damn it, seriously? That killed me? Wow. Alright, whatever. We're keeping our one death per episode quota. Hopefully we can actually get back to that, because recently we've been having a 25 per death quota or something like that. Alright, let's see. Take care of these guys before they can hit me. And nice. Another good thing about the thrusters is they don't it doesn't waste any of your electricity power. Really? That how did that kill me? It like missed. It went like right by me. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. 
Last episode was the raging episode. This is gonna be a calm episode. A nice and calm episode. Alright. Seriously gotta take care of these guys. Alright, there we go. That should be it. Alright, there's a couple shooting at me from some direction. I don't know where. I'm just gonna keep on going. My general stance on these sewer missions is if you don't have to fight them, then don't fight them. It's just a waste of time. So, okay, let me wait for that to come back so I can glide on over to that. Hopefully I can actually make it without too many problems. Alright. Oh, damn it! Seriously, I made it on, but then I went too much. I overshot it. Alright, hopefully I can make it through. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this. Yeah, no way, I can make it, I can make it. Come on, come on. No, no, ah, oh, damn it, damn it. Okay. I, I should have waited. That was not my best idea. Okay, I can't fall into the water anymore. If I fall in one more time, I'm dead. Or, until I heal, anyways. Alright, there we go. Make it. There we go, nice. So now, let's see. There's gonna be another one over here. Oh, no, there's not another one. There's just this thing right here. Alright, make it up here. Go over to the other side. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna start speedrunning this. I have this place, like, pretty much memorized. Let's go, speedrunning tactics. I gotta hurry up, you know, I don't want this to drag on too long. Alright, there's gonna be another tower over this way. Nice. So jump on top. There we go, made it on. Go over this way, good. Climb onto this. Over to this, good. Yeah, dude, speedrunning tactics, it works. Ah, oh, damn, I can't speedrun anymore. I wasn't even speedrunning. I'd actually like to see a speedrun of Infamous. I'd, I'd enjoy to see that very much. I would attempt to do it, but it's not really a speed run when you die 30 times in one episode. Whatever, whatever, I, whatever, who cares? Maybe that's how you speed run, by falling into the water. Don't wait for those things, just go into the water. Alright, there we go, that's nice. Power up this thing, and we're good to go. Alright, there we go, nice. So the first uh, little area of the warren has power back, so we're not completely defenseless. It's really good. All right, nice. So we become slightly more heroic again. Hey, Cole. Uh, you remember Dwight? I uh, just ran into his sister, and she thinks he's in some kind of trouble. Wants to know if you'll look for him. Dwight, didn't that guy steal your car and strip it down for parts? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was a real tool. But you know, I've dug his sister for a real long time now, and uh, he'd be doing me a real solid with this. And you think if I find Dwight, she'll reward you? Well, hell, it's not like I can do anything from here. She says Dwight was hanging around the chili chicken the last time they talked. Shouldn't have tried that. Alright, Cole's... Zeke's message is probably gonna start up again. Hey, Cole. There you go. remember Dwight. I uh, just ran into his sister, and she thinks he's in some kind of trouble. Wants to know if you'll look for him. Dwight. Didn't that guy steal your car and strip it down for parts? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was a real tool. But, you know, I've dug his sister for a real long time now, and, uh... uh he'd be doing me a real solid with this one. And you think if I find Dwight, she'll reward you? Well, hell, it's not like I can do anything from here. She says Dwight was hanging around the chubby chicken the last time they talked. Guess he was working over there. That might be a good place for me to start. Alright, so it seems we gotta help Zeke out with, uh, finding someone so that he can try to get with that person's sister. Cole, are you there? And now we're gonna fall from Trish. It's getting bad over here. People are dying and there's nothing I can do. I need to get a bus over to Bayview and see if it still has any supplies. I came through the tunnel and it's trashed. Same with the Stone Canal drawbridge. You remember Roger Miller from Amy's graduation? He's a city engineer that used to work with my dad, and if anyone can fix the bridge, it'd be him. He lives by Valentine Park. I'll try and find him. Alright, so, if you'll check our map, we have two missions. We have Zeke's Request, which is basically helping, helping Zeke find Dwight so he can get with his sister. And then we have an old friend, where we help Trish repair the bridge 
which will uh, complete the path, this bridge right here, which will path together the Neon and the Warren. So, that's two missions. Which one do you want me to take on first? Do you want me to take on Zeke's request, or an old friend? What's more important, helping our best pal get together with a girl, or fixing the bridge to help dying people? Let me know. You guys get a vote. Which one do you want me to do first? Zeke's request, or an old friend? You can leave a comment below, or... Oh, I don't know any other message. I guess you can, like, put something on my Facebook or Twitter, because those exist. But regardless, however you want to vote, just go ahead and vote. Let me know. And there's a drop... Dead drop, not drop dead. There's a dead drop, like, right here. So let's hear this, and then I'll get home in the episode after that. Gained access to the primary lab. Audio surveillance will begin within the next 24 hours. I've placed two recording devices in the lab, which should provide optimal coverage. I'm also going to attempt to place devices within the cafeteria and other public places. Alright, that was a short one, but... Either way, um, let me know which one you want me to take on first. Hopefully, the next episode won't take too long to get out. I'm gonna try to get better at that, you know. Working on stuff. I have a pretty busy schedule right now. I got stuff I have to take care of, but... If I clear up my schedule, I should be able to record more often. So, I don't know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time.